coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Fleur acquires assets from Aria Insights. The Stratolite mission reaches a key milestone. And Porsche and Boeing to partner on urban air mobility market. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned. In partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. Flair Systems acquired the intellectual property and certain operating assets of Aria Insights Incorporated. Aria ceased operations back in March. Their assets will be integrated into Flair's unmanned systems and integrated solutions division. Previously known as Sci-Fi Works Incorporated, Aria pioneered the development of tethered small UAS, notably developing the persistent aerial reconnaissance and communications tethered drone. Tethered drones connect to a base station or vehicle by microfilament wire, which provides both continuous power and secure communications. For certain applications, a tethered drone offers advantages over a free-flying UAS, enabling sustained operations on longer missions, so users can perform intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance functions. In today's Unmanned Minute, we'll be taking a quick look at news making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. The FCC posted information about an application for a new DJI drone, being called the DJI Mavic Mini. Rumors about the small drone first surfaced in August, when DJI filed for a patent in China for the aircraft. The Mavic Mini will reportedly have folding propellers like larger Mavic models and weighing just under 9 ounces, meaning it would not require registration with the FAA. The Department of Defense invited Atlas to perform a demonstration of its Atlas Pro UAS at the Thunderstorm 19-2 multi-domain operations demonstration and experimentation event held in New York City. The static demonstration showcased Atlas Pro's multi-domain capabilities in extreme terrain and was presented to first responders and U.S. military and state government officials. The Chula Vista Police Department's Drone as First Responders program has surpassed 1,000 missions in support of patrol operations. CVPD's innovative DFR program is part of the FAA's UAS Integration Pilot Program. The goal of the program is to provide better real-time intelligence to first responders so they can use the best tactics and resources. Industrial drone solution provider Terra Drone Corporation launched a UAV and AI-based solution set for the maintenance of power transmission and distribution equipment. The solution was developed based on the market gaps identified after inspecting over 56,000 miles of power lines by Bevelos throughout the world. Now back to the rest of the news. Worldview claims to have reached an important milestone, representing a key step towards the productization of persistent and navigational stratospheric flight. After achieving the goal of more than 30 days aloft with full navigational control, the Stratolite completed its 32-day mission back on September 28th, showcasing its enhanced long-duration flight capability. Worldview's flight operations team landed the Stratolite at a predetermined landing zone in Iowa to conclude the mission. The system landed upon command, was recovered, and will be refurbished for reuse. Prior to this mission, the longest Stratolite flight was 16 days. This moves Worldview closer to scaled commercial operations. Porsche and Boeing signed a Memorandum of Understanding to explore the premium urban air mobility market and the extension of urban traffic into airspace. With this partnership, both companies will leverage their unique market strengths to study the future of premium personal urban air mobility vehicles. Boeing, Porsche, and Boeing subsidiary Aurora Flight Sciences are also developing a concept for a fully electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. Engineers from both companies will implement and test a prototype. A 2018 study by Porsche Consulting predicts the urban air mobility market will pick up speed after 2025. The study also indicates urban air mobility solutions will transport passengers more efficiently than current conventional means at a lower cost and with greater flexibility. And that was our last story of the day. Thanks for watching and please click the subscribe button and check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. 
There will be no Airborne A Man next week as we here at Aero News will be covering the NBAA Business Aviation Convention and Exhibition in Las Vegas. We'll be dedicating all of next week's coverage to business aviation news as well as any exciting information on the future of unmanned aircraft. But until we return, you can get more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-aman.net. Have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday.